Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to convert a dynamic disk back to a basic disk without losing any data in Windows. So if you've already converted your basic disk to a dynamic disk, you probably noticed that you can't convert it back. You could right click and it's grayed out. So the only thing you really do is delete the volume and then start over. But of course you're going to lose your data unless you back it up and then restore it back over to it. Okay, so if you don't know the difference between a basic disk and a dynamic disk, I have a little description here if you want to pause the video and read that. So there's differences in how you could partition it, uh, the volume types, you know, for using RAID and so on, flexibility for extending volumes and so on. And there's some compatibility issues you need to be concerned with. And of course, a fault tolerance. All right, so what we're going to do since we can't do it in the Windows Disk Management, is use a free tool called Naube Partition Editor. So we have the free edition installed here. They have a professional version. Uh, we've used this for some other videos, so it's a great tool to manage your disks, and it'll do many things that the Windows Disk Management tool cannot do. All right, so we have this open here. Let me uh, close Disk Management. Let me show you what we have on this E drive here. So we have a backup of some files, so we don't want to have to worry about restoring this. So we want to convert it while keeping this data safe. I would recommend doing backups whenever you are messing with your disk partitions because you never know when something could go wrong. So you want to have a backup just in case. All right, so we'll open the program here. Okay, so you can see here we have our dynamic disk. And if we right click it, you'll see we have the option to convert to a basic disk. So if we select that and click OK, so it'll lock the volume. So you should close any file explorer windows, close any files you have open off of that disk and so on. All right, so nothing is going to happen until you click on apply. You could undo it if you change your mind before clicking on apply. So we're going to click on apply to finalize it. So one operation is pending, execute now. Okay. All right, so let's close this out here. Open up disk management again. So now you can see it's back to a basic disk. And if we open File Explorer, we still have our backup and all our files. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to do if you use the right program. So I will put a link in the description where you can download Niobe Partition Editor and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.